Hello guys, I'm back. Uh, well rested, eaten, we're all pretty warmed up here. Now I should probably get rid of that spell too. Uh, what is it called again? Magic. Uh, remove that fireball effect. Don't really need it anymore. There we go. And make that tweak commands. All right. Hmm. It's so war. It's it's bad for Skyrim. Let's hope it ends quickly. I am Marcus Janus. You wanted to see me about Helgen. Oh, bless the divines! You came. Well met, and welcome. We have much to discuss. Will you tell me, what happened at Helgen? Uh, you mean the part before I almost got my this head chopped off, or after? We'll start with after. Your past is none of my concern. That you survived, however, is. I see. Did you see if anyone else made it out of this? Where are the families, the children? I doubt any civilians made it out of there alive. The place was laid to waste. Then it's as I feared. My brother and his family are lost. God's damn it all. I'd hoped for better news. Even if they did survive, the dragon attacked. Bandits killed them, for sure. Yes, I've heard the fort is full of them. But appearances can also be deceiving. If I'm right, these are no bandits at all. I have it on good authority there is a man known only as Val inside the keep. He's the leader of a small group of mercenaries, for lack of a better term. Their aim is to kill Thalmor wherever they're found. That they've come this out of hiding is beyond Skyrim's mysterious. They're insurrectionists. A resistance movement, if you will. Insurrectionists? And you know this man? His name is Valerius Tiberius Artoria. We served for many years together in the Imperial Legions, as captains under Titus Mede II during the Great War. I see. He was a good man in those days, an honorable man. Then the Aldmeri invaded and murdered his wife, son, and daughter in cold blood. Well, shit. They murdered his family, please. They marched them more. down the streets of the Imperial City and tortured them until they were dead. Right in front of the Imperial Palace itself. Well, damn. They said, Let it be known that any family members of Imperial officers found anywhere else in the province will receive a similar fate. There were many such atrocities committed by those wretched maggots within those walls. And even more unspeakable tragedies in the rest of Cyrodiil. That's for sure. We were under orders to flee the city for Skyrim when they invaded. We left our people, our families, defenseless. Most did not survive. The few that did make it out of there were scattered as refugees throughout the rest of the province. I see. The plan was to regroup here in Skyrim, rest, resupply our forces, and return to the Imperial City to retake it. That took almost a year. Oh? Surely you know the history. If not, this book will help you understand a little of what we went through. Mm. What happened to the city? When we finally returned to the city, there wasn't much left. We split our forces, and I led the charge from the southern waterfront district, while Valerius attacked from the west. March right down to the main gate and knock on the door, he says. Man had guts, that's for sure. <laughs> After we retook the city, he started to change. He knew his family was gone, but when he learned that they were tortured in the streets, he went mad and vowed to avenge their deaths. He started conducting covert operations that were unknown, even to me, his closest friend. Mm -hmm. He took a handful of his most loyal men and began assassinating Aldmeri officers and diplomats, wherever he could find them. Of 
course, all of this was without knowledge or consent from our commanders. When they were caught, well, let's just say justice was swift. I see. But the Aldmeri feared making a martyr out of him, as they knew the people were aware of his family's torture and murder. Well, they obviously didn't execute him. No, but under pressure from the Thalmor, Titus locked him and his men away in the Imperial prison for the rest of their lives. Soon after, I decided my service had come to its end, and retired from the Legion. But you don't get to be a captain and not accumulate a few favors. <laughs> Let well, me guess, you helped Yes escape. and no. I wasn't actually involved in the operation, but a young lieutenant who served under me was stationed there after I retired. I see. And he found an ancient passage out of the prison that had long been forgotten about. We always heard the stories about it from ages ago. But none of us believed they were true and dismissed them as fairy tales. But they were true, and Lieutenant Buckingsley found the passage. <laughs> so, on a dark and stormy night, Buckingsley quietly slipped a key into Valerius' cell and created a diversion, which bought Val enough time to escape. So what happened to Val? What about his men? They went straight away to Hammerfell to join the Red Guard Rebellion against the Altmeri Dominion. It was rumored a secret brotherhood who called itself the Keepers of Hatu was formed after the signing of the Second Treaty of Stros Makai. Most people passed these rumors off as baseless gossip, but the name Hatu always had intrigued me. Hmm. What intrigues you about it? Hatu was the mountain where the Red Guard hero Frandar Hunding and his sword singers made their final stand against the armies of Hero. It was a bloody battle in their history, but their victory led them to a new land they named Hammerfell, which began the modern day Red Guard society. I see. Here, I brought a few of my old books along just to refresh my memory. Perhaps you'd like to study them if you're interested in history. You may read them at your leisure. Thank you, and I will. Where were we? Oh, yes, the name is a metaphor, meant to imply a final stand, much the same as the one Frandar made at Hatu Mountain. It was also widely known that this brotherhood was made of all races, all united in a singular cause under the banner of the hammer and anvil. Eat the film, right? Yes, I see you've been listening. Not only defeat them, though, that would not be enough. But to cleanse Tamriel of the Thalmor and their racist Aldmeri Dominion forever. So, what makes you think Valerius is involved in this group? Yes, interesting, isn't it? I've heard the name Valerius Artoria associated with them on more than one occasion. First, who better to lead such an organization than someone as skilled in warfare as he? Second, who better to intimidate your enemy than a legend well known as an assassin of their kind, even if he were dead? <laughs> and if he is still alive, and his men still serve with him, it seems logical that they would return to Skyrim along with the Thalmor. So, what exactly does this have to do with me? I need you to go try and talk to Valerius. Reason with him. Tell him Marcus Janus requests a meeting with him. Tell him I'll come to the fort alone. Present company excluded, of course. Mm -hmm. Give this ring to him. It was his wife's wedding band. I see. If any of his men try to accost you, show it to them and tell them it is a gesture of goodwill from me. They'll give you quarter if they know I sent you. Approach the guards and show them the ring. Tell them Marcus Janus sent you to see Valerius Tiberius Artoria on urgent business. Show them this note with my seal, but tell them it's for Valerius, his eyes only. Please return to me as soon as you can. 
I'll prepare to leave and be ready to go when you return. Make Very haste, well. one. And may fortune favor the foolish. Can I read that note? I wonder. I'll let you guys read this. more See him down foot. Hmm. I kind of want to read that letter myself. So, I'm going to save. Ooh, why am I loading the game already? There we go. This note to Valeria. Val, my old friend, it has been a long time. I've thought long and hard about how I, I would approach this situation. I've thought how I would convey to you my sincere condolences for everything that has happened to you, my friend. All I can say is I am sorry. You saved my life once. For that, I owe you mine. I think I know why you are in Skyrim, and if I am right, we need each other's help. You'll be pleased to consider. Uh, will you please consider an audience with your old friend? If after we talk you want no part in my plans, then we can part ways in peace. I know that you are in a, a suspicious fellow, and rightly so. Remember when Titus the uh, second personally asked us to scout that bandit ray. Uh, ruin outside the city we hid among the trees for two nights like wolves quiet like a still night we were sh routed by shadows it was hard to keep ourselves awake at times with nothing exciting happen happening and you asked me to open the mead when we drank oh did we drink we were laughing and joking thinking that the job was safe. That's when we saw the patrol. Bandits. We lay still. Uh, we lay still as statues. They passed by and we thought we were safe. We thought we had evaded them, just like we had done so many times before. That's when it happened. I let out a belch that could have awakened the great Talos himself from his slumber. Ha <laughs> ha! What a fight that was that followed, every single one of them slaughtered by the edge of your cold steel swords. Yes, I, Marcus Janus, have been and ever shall be your friend. 
I await your decision. P.S. My sword stings with the heart of Vandor hunting. Hmm. Now, because he's going to recognize that the seal's already been broken, that's why I saved it before. I just wanted to read that myself. I'm right behind. The great art of speechcraft, my boy, said versus shade. Shep. Shade? Hmm. To his son is to tell them. Sure, Spoons. Handsome man in Falkry. I've got your back. A strong drink will chase off that chill in the air. Until next time. Uh -huh. I'm you. Oh, I can level up. Um, I'm gonna put this point in speechcraft. This should help it a bit. Hmm. Loyalty. Leader's voice. Masquerade. Cool. Oh, come on. Well, that's unfortunately going to be today's episode. I'll meet you guys back up at, um, Helgen. Yes, Helgen. See you tomorrow.